so uh, it's been a while since I made another video and uh, first I uh, didn't plan on making a video but then uh, I got the 5.9 update oh yeah it's like getting a new car so uh, uh, where do we start well let's see 5.9 update um, new features include some uh, personalized internet music some hill start assist, uh, smart air suspension, and some uh, favorite for uh, navigation. And also some supercharger and visited chargers, um, battery meter, and cold weather. I haven't had a chance to test that yet. And then improved range calculations. So, um, oops, sorry. Uh, now, this is how it looks like on the navigation. Uh, first, I thought that. Uh, Tesla load uh, information about chargers or something, but then when I look closer to these uh, uh, charging points, they are actually the gray ones. They are, they are the chargers I've been uh, visiting. So I'm not sure where the if the car stores this information or if uh, the server in Tesla stores it. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's uh, quite useful. One thing I miss though is that. Uh, well, okay, that just happened to be a favorite, but let's say this one. Uh, oh, well, that's also a favorite term. Okay, uh, 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 that one. Uh, what kind of charger is it? Is it um, 3.7 kilowatt? Is it 20, 22 kilowatt? Or what is it? You know, that would be quite useful. Hmm, you know, it could just store the highest possible speed I got from that charger. That would be useful. Anyway, still nice. Hmm. Let's see what else. If you go ahead to the small screen. I noticed that uh, the fonts here gotten larger. Yeah. And uh, if we go in dry mode, the speedometer has changed a little bit. You see now. It... Okay. Uh, speedometer changed a bit. So now it goes up to 240 kilometers per hour. I don't know if this has something to do with. Um, uh, plan uh, tuning package for uh, Europe or uh, it was mentioned in Munich in Germany last year when uh, Elon Musk was there but uh, anyway let's see what else was a difference here mm, uh, over to this one oh yeah um, now you can use the, the command voice command but uh, it doesn't work very well see uh, if I hold this button and say play Gangnam style hmm. yeah you see so what happens is that uh, the search comes up but it doesn't recognize my voice uh, command so try again play Gangnam style no still uh, it says play Elton John no can't even recognize Elton John. So, but let's say if you enter Gang Gang N. Okay, searches for a song. Maybe I should edit this out. Actually, no, I'm. Not going to do it. Now you can see how long it takes. <coughs> oh, Gangnam Style. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Is it, uh, where's the, the original one? Uh, is it this one? Okay, so we start playing Gangnam Style, I guess. Start loading. Oh, what's this? Uh, oh, well, um. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Enough about that. Let's go to the good stuff. Um, so here is the new feature, long waited. Uh, if you go to settings and uh, suspension, automatic uh, lowering. So now. Well, I was uh, playing with this. It was default set to 160 km plus. And uh, you can uh, adjust what speed you want it to be when it 
to automatically set it to low so let's say I want to have it on 85 okay and come this warning this setting will reduce blah 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 you know yeah are you sure you want to do this yes uh, you can also set it to uh, always which will always set it to low <coughs> I wouldn't recommend it in Norway though no. so I wonder if it will actually adjust right away let me see I have it on park what happens if I put it on drive and start driving well, I'm not sure but, uh, and um, also the settings for uh, high and very high has changed I have to do that while driving so maybe I should demonstrate it right away So you see, if I put it on very high, before I could only do um, 15 kilometers per hour at very high and 20, 30 kilometers per hour on high. So let me wait for it to uh, set the suspension, okay. Uh, so now I'm gonna take a little drive. Oh, uh, drive. So, just for the record, this is on a uh, um, uh, quiet. Oh, I, oh, yeah, it set it to low, yeah, because I set it to always low, okay. Yeah, so, um, well, I got that one tried out also. I'm gonna go to uh, settings, adjust speed, uh, set it to like, uh, let's say, 80 km per hour. Okay, yes. Now let's go back there to controls, set it to very high. Okay, while we're waiting for that one, I can demonstrate another nice feature. It's on park now. I'm on a, a hill, it's not very steep, but it's a hill, downhill. So if I put it on reverse, like this, uh, you can see it on the camera maybe. Uh, the hill hole uh, is supposed to work now, so I let go of the brakes one second and then burp, yeah. So again, I let go of the brakes one second and then. So the same stuff works uh, when you're going up and then drive. I can, I guess, I can demonstrate that too. I'm do a little uh, three point turn here. I don't drive with one hand, so that's why it's a bit difficult. Okay. okay, let's put it on drive now. So I'm facing uphill, as you can probably see. And then put on the step on the brakes, and uh, uh, if I let go of the brake now. Okay, let me try it again. Let go of the brakes. Yeah. So that's a very nice feature, indeed. Let's see, let uh, What was I gonna try again? Um, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Navigation, controls. It's still on very high. Let me do a little turn over here. There are no kids, you know, playing around here. It's just me playing around, so I shouldn't accidentally run over someone while doing this test. Uh, so I'm going at sure now it's at very high. I'm doing 14, 15, 16, it's still going very high. Let's see. I have to go down here. Okay, it's still at very high. 25. The, the, the threshold is supposed to be at the 30. So let me hit 30 there and then. Hmm. I'm 
doing 31 now. Okay, let me see. 32. Thirty-five, forty. Okay, I'm not sure. Is it forty or is it just? Uh... Yeah. Anyway, uh, to trigger the next uh, one, I have to drive even faster. So hang on, wait for the car like, to pass. Okay, let me go. Forty-four. Forty-five, forty-six. Still at high. That's quite nice, actually, in winter. I guess I'll go this way. Turn right. There's a car there. That's fine. Oh, let's try it now. Uh, doing uh, forty-nine, fifty. Still at high. I think it's, the thing is, oh yeah, there you go, 55, but I think it's not a matter of speed only, it, it has to, I have to stay over uh, the limit for a while. I think it's 30 and 45 kilometers now. So, um, that's about that, and, um, hmm, let me see, I was going to try, I guess I have to do a little cut here and edit, uh, yeah, I have to hit the highway, so, hang on. Okay, we are back um, uh, on the highway now, and uh, as you can see, we're in drive mode. You can't set uh, lowering speeds, so I guess that's a feature. But anyway, if you go back to controls here, oh, uh, okay, if you go back to controls. It's on standard. And let me increase the speed to about 80, 85. You see, and there, it set it to low. And um, from what I try, I played about, about this. Uh, if I go below it again, it seems like it will stay there. Yeah, see, I'm doing uh, 70 something, 73, and it's still stuck on low. So I'm not sure if that's a feature. It would be nice if it would automatically rise it to standard again. What happens if I forget about this and I drive on a bumpy uh, road, which are uh, lots of them in Norway? So, hmm, yeah, this one has to be tested a bit more. Uh, but the problem is I can't drive too slow now on the highway, so I have to do about 80 ish. Uh, but there is a bus lane coming soon, so I could try to slow down there and. Uh, See what happens. Uh, let's see. Let me speed up a bit. Uh, here comes the bus lane. Okay. Then I slow down to let's say uh, 60-ish something. 55. And as you can see, it is still stuck on low. What happens if I actually pull over? I mean, will it? Oh. Oh, all right, then it went to standard, so I'm not sure about the limits on the up and down, so, but uh, okay. All right, so um, here's another thing about the uh, air suspension. I'm doing about 70-ish, you know, and it's still low, and um, let's say if I want to override it, set it to standard, like this. Uh, so it's set to standard, and I want to go faster. So uh, I'm going to increase the speed. Oh, what the heck, there's some cars there. Oh, that's, oh, that's another red Tesla. Cool. Well, this is uh, unsafe. Uh, anyway, <coughs> doing 80. Show this. Uh, oh, okay, nice. Oh, yeah, right. It went back to low. So it means uh, if I override it, it will just, uh, you know, override my setting again. So, uh, try that again, I set it to standard. It will actually rise. Okay, and then I'm gonna increase the speed. And 
think it has a threshold and it, uh, you have to stay over that limit for a uh, set time, let's say 5 or 10 seconds and then finally yeah, okay, I'm going to lower it. Or, uh, I think it maybe not. Uh, what the heck? I'm doing uh, 80 plus kilometers per hour and um, yeah, this, is, this is the same behavior I had earlier when I didn't film it. to be like this or? yeah I'm still doing 80 plus and um, it's not lowering itself maybe it's a bug so uh, the last thing I want to show you guys is uh, improvements in navigation so from now on uh, Tesla superchargers they are marked as red and the other visited chargers, they are marked as grey on the map. And a um, nice feature is the favorite. Uh, now you can add the home location and work location and, uh, and I guess as many uh, favorites as you like. So you see, I'm gonna add the home location and uh, I live in uh, Haugerudven, there you go, uh, save as home. Okay, uh, well it defaults back to this menu for some reason. Uh, okay, let me add work location. That's gonna be uh, uh, 3B. Uh, uh, there you go. Okay, that one is work. Save as work. Go back to places. So you see, now I save my home and work, and there are some other favorites so uh, the procedure to add a favorite goes like this uh, let's say uh, again again okay come on search Bergen Bergen airport for example okay so you will now navigate to Bergen you have to uh, add uh, an address first and then you can uh, let's see uh, if I go to destination now there, you see, there's a add to favorites button. Then I can, uh, yeah, I can use this one, I guess, add to favorites. So if I go to places now, <coughs> there's Bergen Airport. Um, another thing, as you can, as you see here, McDonald, 22 kilowatt. That's the trick I have. <coughs> this favorite is a charging point. <laughs> I guess uh, what you can do is. Uh, Charging points you use often, <coughs> you can name it uh, with a uh, how um, charging power. Mm -hmm. So, um, but uh, what I kind of miss about this uh, is that uh, that one is a favorite, and I have another favorite over here. Uh, this one is also a favorite uh, uh, console, yeah. But they don't show up as favorites on the map. So, and if you look at the uh, TomTom. -tom, Zoom in a bit. You see the favorites here, they are marked as uh, stars, and uh, you can click on one of them. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, that one. Yeah. And uh, you can uh, navigate to the favorites too. Let's say navigate to favorite. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, actually, hmm. Yeah. And you have to enter it from a list here. So there's actually. At least on this TomTom, -tom, uh, you can't just browse the map like this and then say uh, navigate to that one. Hmm. But uh, it's still very useful to have an overview of uh, favorites like this. So I'll probably make a separate video about why I still use a TomTom -tom and why it is still superior to uh, this one. But I guess that concludes my uh, video about 5.9 uh, update. So, yeah.